As the city of Indianapolis now grapples with the recent rise that we've seen in violent crime, local services say they are strapped thin and overwhelmed. Tonight, our Steve Jefferson shares the unseen toll that this deadly crisis is taking. Violent crimes, like this deadly shooting scene near 42nd and Post Road this week, is part of the drive behind record deaths in the metro area. Just ask Alfarina McGinty, who met us there, one of Indy's hotspots for crime. Before you can change crime, you've got to change the way, the environment that people are in. McGinty is chief deputy here at the Marion County Coroner's Office, where the past year has been their busiest ever. Why so many deaths? We're looking at an increased number of natural deaths, um, in part due to COVID, an increased number of uh, homicide deaths, and a significant increased number of drug overdose deaths. We're now doing more delayed uh, funeral events or memorial services. In his 35 years in the family business, Bruce Buchanan has never been called on by so many families memorializing their loved ones. More deaths forced Flanner Buchanan Funeral Centers to get creative in order to serve families. There were even times where there would be a death in Marion County and we would go to Hamilton County. Both the funeral home owner and the coroner report higher death numbers related to violent crime, COVID-19, suicide and drug overdoses. The publication Funeral Director Daily reported nationally the U.S. had 93,000 drug overdose deaths in one year. What you see on a national level is really what we're seeing right here in our local community. And because of so many death investigations just in this area alone, the coroner supports community events like this one here called Reaching Our Brothers. It saddens me that um, we are coming back to this neighborhood sort of over and over again to conduct death investigations. Death they hope to soon see decrease. Steve Jefferson, 13 News.